So, Anna, tell us about the transformation process. What did you do? What, what, what made your glitter like that? Well, glitter is something that we do at the end because everyone loves it and it's a finishing touch. But I knew that Julianne would look great in gold yeah. and warm colors because of that gorgeous golden hair. Yeah. So I knew that this would have to be a warm colored mask, like sunny, golden, bright. So how difficult, I mean, you have to have somebody do it. You can't do it on yourself. You could. But it's a little hard. Well, the fact is, you know, you don't have to go this complex. You could do yeah. something much simpler. Yeah. And, that and what are the makeups? Where, where, where do you get all these makeups? Um, these are water-based theater makeup oh, okay. um, made by Mayron. <laughs> I buy them on a place called Silly Farm. Silly it's Farm. It's like one-stop shopping store. Sillyfarm.com? Sillyfarm.com. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. But you could also do this with your own makeup if you just get a couple of bold colors that mm -hmm. you may not normally wear. Yeah, well, you look really great. Now, we have another audience member who is um, who has uh, consented to also be a very fabulous guinea pig. Um, and uh, come on up, Melissa. So thank you, Julianne. OK, so now looking at, looking at Melissa, what would you do to her? Well, Melissa has these beautiful blue eyes, and she's wearing white. So I'd say I would choose the colors that go with this look. OK. Probably go with pearl white, blue. So again, you're going to make her something exotic um, or a, a design on I her think face? Halloween is this time to, for exotic fantasy uh, makeup. OK, good. Think? OK. So let's so see. So what I would do is first, this is going to be a simple mask. And what I first like to do is to create my shape using just um, my cosmetic sponge and my makeup. This way, it allows you to be a little bit more loose, and you can apply the makeup while deciding what you're gonna do. So this is safe makeup? Yes, this okay. is absolutely safe. I do a lot of children's parties, and yeah. this is safe to use on your children's faces. And children love it, right? Absolutely. This is something that become, becomes more and more popular every year, and but oh, it's so not you, just So you're for painting kids. with a sponge, too. Oh, nice. Well, you know, I'm just putting the color where I want it. Mm -hmm. This way, you know, it saves me time, and I kind of, like, already put it in. Later on, I tighten it in with the brush. But when you first put Look it in... Look how transformative that is. Wow. And, just a uh, simple shape. So you're taking the blue from her eyes, and make, and it, but it's an exotic blue. This is really pretty. I feel like metallics are really... Uh, a good choice. Uh -huh. And I wanted to say that face painting is not just for children anymore. A lot of times people hire uh, face painters for adult parties. Adult parties, adult entertainment. First of all, we are all children at heart. Second, why not? It washes off so easy at the end of the night with soap and water, and you can live a little. Yes, don't go to bed on your finest linens without <laughs> washing your face. This looks so good. So these are just regular so, old makeup sponges? Um, cosmetic sponges. Uh -huh. I also get them from the uh, stage makeup place. But you could use wedges or even a brush. Right now, I'm just, a sponge is a fast way to do this. Mm. So the next step, um, we got this in. The next step, I'm going to bring out the eyes a little bit more using a brush. And what we do is we just exaggerate the features you already have got. If you have. Melissa has gorgeous eyes, and I'm just going to make a little bit further and bolder lines than she would normally okay. wear. And that's what we basically do. So like, a, like a bold eyeliner. Like a long line, like this. Well, she's, she was good to start with. She is beautiful yeah. to start with, but here we go. A long line. So now you're outlining so, those uh, beautiful paisley shapes with purple. Yeah, basically, I use the brush to tighten the, the design together mm -hmm. to make it kind of. Um, oops, I'm sorry. Now, do you use? Do you ever use the um, the um, airbrush? Yes, airbrush is a little bit more involved because um, you really plan things out. You cut stencils. Very cute. So I'm using the lines to basically uh, make the space stand out so that you can see it from far away. I'm outlining the shapes with black, but then if we have a little bit, another minute, we could add some details and glitter. 